What's up, y'all? So we're going for dinner, and as you can see, the mask is still a thing. And when in we, China. Yeah. yeah, in China, the mask is still a thing. And actually, when we go into the shopping mall, we have to show a health code. So if it's green, then you're allowed in. If it's not green, then sorry, buddy, get out. I will show you the streets of China at 8:20 on a Tuesday night. So this is the health code, and mine's green, so I can go. And that's that. It's definitely not as strict as it used to be. Um, before they were stopping us saying like, hey, hey, where's your mask? But now they're just like, whatever. I mean, Adam's not even wearing his mask and this doesn't count, I think. Like there's so many memes um, about this way of wearing a mask but anyways uh, yeah show my green card and now I'm into the mall and there's many people without masks in here so things are getting back to normal but definitely not 100% normal yet <laughs> so we are going to grandma's home for dinner yeah it's really good but uh, the reason why we chose this is because you can order dishes, so you can order like chicken and veg or whatever and you don't need whatever. to eat rice or noodles, yeah. which is great. One thing I really like about China is that like when you sit down to order, you can scan the QR code and you can see the menu and you can choose what you want to eat like just off your phone. You don't need to talk to any waiters, you don't need to like have them coming to your table and say like just wait, I'm looking or you know just waste their time. You can just scan the QR code and order. So I'll show you what that looks like. And basically here's the menu. So it's got pictures which is really nice if you don't understand Chinese. Um, you can see what the things look like and whatever you want, you just click on it and it will add it to your cart. And then you click the confirm button and uh, in a couple of minutes actually your food will be here. Like about some restaurants here in China is that the service is really good and like the quality of food is good so this food the chicken particularly we ordered five minutes ago maybe even three minutes ago and it arrived at our table piping hot so fast um, and now I'm gonna show you the cucumber that just arrived which is one of my absolute favorite if cucumber is on the menu we're ordering it really one of my favorite so good now we try cucumber. Amazing. <laughs> um. So for some reason, sometimes like some random dish will take a little bit longer than the others and our tofu just arrived. Um, I don't actually know how to like explain it. It's not like any tofu I've had in uh, South Africa. It's kind of a jelly form and it has like some sort of spicy oil on top of it but it's not actually that spicy anymore I don't know if my taste buds have been fried by all the chili I eat or if it's just not spicy okay so I'm sure any foreigner would really really love this chicken it's kind of salty it kind of tastes like mom's roast or mom's stew it's really tasty but there's a whole chicken in there so that means there's a head there's a bottom there's feet I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Where's the head? Oh, the head is here. Oh, Adam already dismantled the head. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Ooh, we can even see his eye. Nasty. <laughs> So we are finished eating and this is our receipt. As you can see, there's a barcode on there as well. Uh, the total was 71 yuan, which is about 100 and maybe 50 rand. And what is that in dollars? 10? Yeah, about $10. Uh, sorry, my dollars calculation conversion is horrible. Anywho, so about $10, about 150 rand and 71 yuan. So it's now 9 o'clock and um, that's the end of our eating dinner and our little shopping experience for ice and 
a beer and we're gonna walk home and have a beer, talk about some business things and go sleep.